The U.S. Senate recently joined the House of Representatives in approving the National Plan to End Parkinson's Act, the first piece of legislation dedicated to ending Parkinson's disease. The bill will now be sent to President Biden, who is expected to sign it into law. I spoke today with the executive director of the Valley's Parkinson's Resource Organization, Eileen Lynch, about the historic act and why it's so important. Eileen, first off, tell us about the National Plan to End Parkinson's Act. Well, this is a really exciting piece of legislation. It's actually the first ever legislation solely devoted to ending Parkinson's and Parkinsonisms. Um, the goals of this uh, legislation are to increase federal research funding to prevent and cure Parkinson's, develop some standards to track cases and to prevent Parkinson's, improve early diagnosis and increase public awareness of Parkinson's as well as addressing those health disparities in diagnosis and treatment. And I know this was a major bipartisan effort. How did this all come about? Well, it was first introduced in 2022, and uh, one of the key legislators here is uh, Representative Jennifer Weston. She was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2022, and later that diagnosis was amended to progressive supranuclear palsy, uh, which is essentially Parkinson's on steroids. Um, she was a big champion of this legislation, which was unanimously passed in the Senate just last week, and it is expected to be signed by President Biden shortly. So it is a really it's a really great example of everyone coming together for a great act that's going to further uh, the, the health and well-being of Americans. And I understand this is also personal for you, a full circle moment. Yeah, it really is. Uh, Ten years ago, I actually worked on Jennifer Wexton's first ever successful campaign for public office. She was running for state Senate in Virginia, and I knocked doors all over uh, Loudoun and Fairfax County to uh, win votes for her. And it's, yeah, it's a very full circle. It's very bittersweet. Um, at the time that I was working on that campaign, I was not working in the Parkinson's world, and it wasn't on her radar either, I don't believe. Uh, and now we find ourselves in a very similar battle once again. How prevalent is Parkinson's, especially here in our valley? That's a really good question, Peter. There are about 10,000 residents of Coachella Valley who have Parkinson's, over 1 million Americans, and it is actually the fastest growing neurodegenerative condition in the world. There's wow. actually a recent study from the Michael J. Fox Foundation, and the Parkinson's Foundation, that found a 50 percent increase in Parkinson's in Southern California compared to the national average. So this is something that everyone in our, our community should be paying close attention to. Absolutely. And so this act is more important than ever. Absolutely. Anything else you would like to say before we let you go? Well, I do want to remind everyone that Parkinson's Resource Organization is right here in Coachella Valley, serving people with Parkinson's and caregivers. Uh, we can be found at www.parkinsonsresource.org, or you can always give us a call, and we are available with emotional and practical resources to help people navigate Parkinson's. All right, Eileen, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Peter, for having me.